Hello, Red Hills Church family. Welcome back to day 15 of 21 days of prayer and fasting. Today, we start the, the, the third and final week of our time together. And what I wanna talk about today and pray about today is resisting evil. 1 John 4, one through four says this. Beloved, do not believe every spirit but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming, and now already is in the world. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is great in you is greater than he who is in the world. Church family, we live in a day and age that is confusing and has contradictory messages and voices. With the use of technology, social media, blogs, vlogs, podcasts, vlogcasts, I mean, there are so many different ways for people to get their opinions out. And oftentimes they use it as a platform for exactly that. While I think technology is useful and helpful and can be redeemed by church and can be, be redeemed by Christians, I also think we need to be careful. Careful in this, careful in who we listen to careful in what we believe in, careful in what we, what we watch and what we allow sink into our hearts, careful in what we allow into our homes, what we allow to influence our children. As a pastor, I often get people asking me about what other influential people have said, whether it's a self-proclaimed prophet, whether it's a celebrity pastor, or whether it's some guy having a blog in his mom's basement spouting off conspiracy theories. People want to know what I think about them. And, and I believe that we need to be cautious, especially in this season, in who we allow to influence our life. Because the reality is this. John says that there are false prophets. There was back right after Jesus died and in the first century, and there are false prophets today. We are warned repeatedly throughout scripture of these false prophets. There always have been, there always will be. False prophets, what John says, are from the spirit of the Antichrist. So what do we do? How do we uh, discern what voice we allow speak into our life? We do what John says, we test the spirit. What's the test? The test is this, does the spirit does the truth, does the word that people are speaking, does it confess that Jesus Christ came in the flesh, that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior? Because the reality is this, Jesus leads us to peace, not fear. Jesus leads us to joy, not anxiety. Jesus leads us to hope, not despair. Jesus leads us to the truth that's revealed in God's word. And any word that is not backed up by his word is not the truth. You see, when the world seems unstable or a global disaster strikes, people often ask me, Pastor, are we in the end times? My answer is, yes, we are. We've been in the end times since Jesus walked on this earth. In fact, he inaugurated the end times. The second question people ask me is, do you think we're closer to the end times? Absolutely, we're getting closer to the end times. But we do know this, that the day or hour is unknown. But what do we do in the meantime? We get ready. I've done extensive teaching on what we do as we uh, anticipate the return of Jesus Christ. And in Matthew 25 gives us the best description, three parables, and all of them are basically telling us this, to be ready, not to build shelters, not to buy generators, not to stock your house with food and supplies, but it's to get your heart ready. It's to get your lives ready. It's to get your children ready and train them in the Lord. It is to get the church ready and people ready. It is not talking about material things. It is talking about spiritual things that we prepare our hearts and our lives as if Jesus was coming back tomorrow. We keep pressing on towards Jesus and pressing into 
his truth. As we navigate the season that's ahead of us, as we navigate the many voices that are trying to speak and gain our influence uh, in our lives, let's pray that we can resist evil, discern the spirits, and trust in Jesus. Would you bow your heads and pray with me? Jesus, I pray that you give us clarity in the midst of confusing and contradictory voices in our life. Help us discern the spirits that confess Christ and point us to Christ. And I pray that as your people, we can witness to your word and to your truth. And when we speak and when we share our own opinions and our ideas, that it points to your words. God, I pray that you give us peace during this time and you let our hearts be full of anticipation for your future return. In your name, amen. God bless you, church family. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.